Okay. Okay. So, how many of you have had Medjool dates? They're dry, dehydrated, the skin is kind of tough, and they're juicy. Um, all the, oh well, seriously, that's really good. But all the vegans and vegetarians like to take this, mash it up, have it become the chewy sweetener inside gooey delicious desserts and full of zinc and magnesium and potassium, I think, and it's all good. But guess what I found? It, that is so good. Wait a minute. Stay right there. I was in a Middle Eastern store. And I walked in and I saw a box of these. True to the Middle Eastern style. There is no label. So I'm looking at these and I had no idea what they were. And there was a lovely man with a huge nose. So I was attracted to his nose and his olive skin and 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 I knew he knew about food because I could tell he just said food all over him and I asked him what is this and he couldn't explain it to me in English and I kept trying to figure it out and then he says you know from the tall trees that hang like this and I went they're dates because they were all really hard and we bit both bit into it and it's philatanic acid and it's really tough but he says if you let it become soft like this. Do you see how it becomes dark? And then... Oh! <laughs> my God! I thought my figs were good, but this is like honey. And so, it's so amazing. And what I'm saying to you is go to the stores by you instead of these big stores, the Middle Eastern store, the Persian store, the Indian store, the with Chinese market, the Asian markets, go and see what they have with produce and bring it back to your kitchen, but talk to the people in the store and ask them what they do with them and how they make them because there are so many amazing foods that we can have right here. You'll never need sugar again and you'll never need any Fakakta Drek anymore because life is so amazing and so is your food. That's my message to you today. <laughs> Good.